So last time we talked, uh, we were putting the pipeline in, in the ground. We had about 200 metres to go. So the last two weeks we've finished that job. So the pipeline's um, in the ground, up to our intake. <laughs> and, uh, and the last week we've been building uh, our intake structure, which is just here behind us. So the intake, well, I guess when most people get an opportunity to see a, a hydroelectric installation, be it mini hydro, large scale hydro, um, and they're drawn to the powerhouse site, which is you know has all the the noise and the flashing red lights and the energy being created and all the spinny things and that sort of thing. But um, there's a lot of other components that are that are very easily overlooked, you know, in a hydroelectric scheme, and, and this is one of them, the the intake behind us, and it serves an integral role in getting getting water into our our pipeline, ensuring that stuff that you don't want to go down uh, that pipe is excluded from going down. Now the the, the river, you know, the river just going throughout its its business of being a river, it has lots of stuff coming down at rocks, pebbles, silt, uh, bark, timber, etc. And all of those things we don't want going uh, through our turbine. You know, it causes damage to the turbine and unnecessary wear and tear. So the intake structure behind us um, uh, prevents all that, filters out um, all those those things, uh, and um, and also stops air getting to our pipe. Uh, so yeah, pretty pretty critical piece of infrastructure, um, which is why we're, we're pulling out all stops to, to do a really good job of it. History has taught many a people that the force of water can be easily underestimated. Um, you know, pl plenty of bridges and concrete structures washed away over the years. So, so here we've, we've done a, uh, incorporate into the design, you know, uh, having it um, out, away from the stream, so the force of those floods um, uh, d don't impact it, and also assists in, in maintenance and isolating that structure. So if we ever need to do maintenance, um, then we don't have to um, touch the river at all. Uh, and you know, the philosophy of this, of this scheme um, overall is to tread really lightly, and that's another reason why you know, the intake behind us um, isn't being built in the river, it's be being built off the river, so th there's minimal disturbance on the riverbed. So uh, the workers we've, um, we have engaged in this project are almost exclusively local, local contractors living in the town of Warburton. You know, it's a community hydro that we're building, so uh, it was pretty important to, to us that you know, we engage wherever possible um, local contractors, and that's, you know, th that's worked out remarkably well. You know, all the contractors have, that we've used have been more than capable to do the work uh, that we needed them to do. Uh, you know, and the, the initiative and problem solving that, that every one of those guys have demonstrated has been uh, you know, of huge benefit to the, to the rollout of this, of this scheme. Uh, I guess some names, um, you know, the Har guys from Harrison Ford Plumbing have done a lot of the civils here. So uh, Glenn Harrison and his two sons, Mick, Mick and Lee, they've been fantastic as you've seen in the previous video with um, uh, with, with doing all the, the earthworks and, and covering their tracks incredibly well. Uh, Larry Marshall from Earthline Builders has assisted with the, the powerhouse build and the intake build here and, and a lot of his contractors, um, uh, you know, you know uh, again have provided considerable support. Um, the Covina brothers with the brick laying, the concreting and, and, and his, uh, his team of merry men uh, uh, Darren and and uh, Colin have been the chippies here. Have done some marvellous work on all the form work we've needed to do. Uh, that they're able to turn their hand to anything, so they've been of of, of huge benefit. Jim Industrial are based out of South Gippsland. They did our pipeline welding work, and and they did a marvellous job there. That the the team that they had were, uh, I've, you know, I'm told, really really enjoyed the experience and working here on the golf course and their their uh, their ability to to um, work dovetail in with our, our, our civils guys was, was just fantastic, so I'd like to thank them for the work they did.